we're announcing our new tequila. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, the, the adulthood, the adulthood tequila. This uh, is a nice tequila bottle. It is. Right? I feel like tequila's now is about the bottle. It definitely is. You know, when we posted that clip, everyone everyone was commenting, oh, Closet of Soul is such a cheap tequila. Everyone's just an expert on everything. Uh, you know how hard it was to refrain from saying what I really wanted to say? I know, I know. A couple people, I trolled them back, but a couple people, I, I just like, it becomes too much. It comes too much, yeah. And then you give them attention and they feel like verified. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people, you get them back, you talk to them back and they like, they won't answer. Like, yeah. they're like, oh, I didn't think, I didn't think he would answer. I didn't oh, think he would reply. He's an actual person. But I wouldn't think to go, like, I feel like I would never think to like challenge someone on social media who has so much more followers than me that could just bury my account, you know? Like, mm -hmm, he, mm -hmm. they, like if I see somebody who has like 20 million followers, if I come at them, I feel like they could just, they have a louder microphone. They, you won't even see it. I also don't want to come at anybody for some silly video you posted. And I think I realized even more that people don't have senses of humor. Like a sense of humor is probably like a 2023. I mean, there was a couple times where I was like, did you even like watch, look at the, like the hashtags all say funny, comedy, joking, comedian, don't be an asshole. Like you didn't, you just skipped through all of that. People can't read. Yeah, people just don't. People, people don't just, read. People don't even watch the full clip before they comment. No. I, I challenge anyone to, you know, before they start clipping at the clips to watch a whole episode and see if they still feel the same. Because if they think, do, then. But to the people who are listening right now, I don't think they're the people who are leaving these comments. No, definitely not. We have a very sophisticated listening. Yeah, you know, absolutely. The they're, people uh, that listen, they generally have nine to five jobs. They have, jobs, they have medical K's, insurance and 401k. 1,000%. So uh, those dental these, insurance. these people, generally, they're not looking to comment on reels. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not leveraging my dental insurance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's going to be. Also, I'm, I'm like so that's tired of that too. I'm like, bro. Imagine the men, 35 years. The men, I'll be like, why you why you want him to, to get teeth? You Imagine want him, you think he'll look cuter with teeth? Yeah, what do you <laughs> you're you're literally judging my like that's my, pretty yeah my my uh my performance, not only my performance, but like my appearance. Right. And uh imagine 35 years of it. I know. I know, I know. People yeah. ask me on the side, thinking I have insight on it. And no, I'm like, no, no. It's, it is what it is, mm. you know? Some people have to be like, I'm like, yo, I don't even know how to put this, but I'm like, yo, he's more successful than you. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know how this makes you feel, but he, he does a lot better than you do. So maybe, you know, maybe don't come at him. Uh, no, what, what, what was it? Come at me, bro. That's yeah. Jersey Shore? Yeah. yeah, yeah, come at me, bro. I, honestly, I really don't care. I no, can, I know you don't care. I can give a care less. I, I know you don't care. Yeah. I, I feel like uh, we gotta address the elephant in the room. What's that? What's up with the hat? Oh yeah, definitely. Big shout out to uh, Long Island City Cleaners. Oh, that's the LIC yeah, Cleaners? Yeah, shout out to yeah. them. That's like my they shop. They gave me the hat. Oh, I thought we were gonna talk about my hoodie. On What's the hoodie? I think I've seen it. OTD on the door. Big shout out to my man Quill. He's down in Atlanta. This is brand. You know, we got the tape coming out. That's like, the elephant, right? like a walking billboard. I am a billboard. You don't get gifted all of this size and not use it for promotion. I know, I know. Shameless I get gifted promotion. so much stuff, dude. People be asking me like where I got it from. I'm like, it's a I, gift. It, it was in they the mail. They sent it to me. Yeah, the P.O. Box. Yeah. I'm, I'm a poster too. No, but look, I want, I got the stash. Oh, you meant that elephant. <laughs> yeah, I went stash, bro. 70 I stash. stash guy. I talked about it a lot on the podcast. And you went and did it. And I did it. It yeah. was it was tough. I went to the barber and I asked him for a mustache. He he confirmed like four times before that he did That you it. wanted to do yeah, that. Yeah, he was like, I was like, I, I want to go, I want to get the mustache. Mm -hmm. And he was like, like a goatee. Mm. I was like, nah, just a mustache. Mm. And he was like, like connecting. Mm. I'm like, nah, just a mustache. Mm. And then he was like, you sure? I was like, yeah. And mm. then he was like, okay. And then he started giving me like a haircut. He started giving me a fade in my hair. Mm -hmm. And then he was, he was like shaping up the mustache. And I was like, I mean, shaping up the beard. And I was mm -hmm. like, I want a mustache. And he was like, for real? Uh -huh. I was like, yeah. He was like, we're going with it. I was like, yeah. And then he was like, jump. He, did you make? And then like, I regretted it immediately. Did he make you sign something like that? That you he was liable? Yeah. No, I think they do recording at oh, the barbershop. Okay. So he, okay. Like that's why he kept confirming. Yeah. So if if I look like a complete idiot, I couldn't. You, you can't know, like charges. sue or yeah. press charges. Yeah, absolutely. I think yeah. that uh, you know, that's good liability. Right. I, I mean, like when you walked in, there was Hector Laveau playing. I shook your hand, like, because I felt like, who is this grown man? Like, is he coming to audit us? Did he just send a fax? How, how, how's the response been going? That's what people think. People, Some people say I look older. Some people say I look younger. I think overall, I just look more mature. Uh, like yeah. I don't look like I'm playing around. Like you paid your taxes. Yeah. 
before the 50. I look like maybe I could do taxes. Yeah. Like, you know, they, they, some people say I look like a running back from the 80s. From the 80s. Definitely. You know, given like, 80s running back vibes. Right. It's definitely, it definitely splits the room. Okay. I had a couple people like walk by me, like mm. not knowing it was me. Mm, mm, mm. And I was like, hey. And they were like, oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah. I hadn't cut my beard in seven years. Wow. So is this the first time you're seeing your chin? Yeah. In seven years? Yeah. And I don't like it. Oh, okay. I'm not going to lie. I don't like it. Are you going to like use anything to help it accelerate the growth or are you going to- The beard? Yeah. No, nah, I would grow. I could grow it back in like three days if I wanted to. Oh, okay. Um, but no, I, you know- You're I'm sticking with this. I'm a, yeah. I'm, I'm going to hold on to it for a little while. Uh, pause. Mm. But um, but it's, it's definitely a room splitter. Like some people- Love Polarizing. It. Yeah, some people love it. Some people hate it. The majority of people don't know how they feel about it. Mm. It has to, and I'm like, just give it time. It'll, it'll they grow. They have to marinate. Have yeah, to yeah. Marinate. yeah. It'll grow okay. on you. Okay. Uh, in society, I feel like people respect me more. Of course. You know, like if I feel like when I walk into places, people think I'm going to buy. Mm. You know? mm. Mm. You're not just window shopping. No, yeah. I yeah. think people with mustaches generally are about their business, whatever that business is. Yeah. You know, some people say it's pervert, like the pervert stash. Big, big perv stash. Yeah, the pervert stash. I don't know how the perverts, like, took control of the mustache. Because mm. it's just a facial hair thing. Mm. So I don't know why that went to them. Mm. But I think we're trying to bring, I think we're trying to take it back. Okay. Like, as society. Reclaim the stash. I think we're trying to reclaim the stash. Is that a hashtag? And is that a t-shirt? <laughs> Reclaim the stack. Yeah. So a lot of guys are doing it. It's okay. like a thing. Yeah. Okay. You should do it. I, I was thinking about it. You like do full, it. like, what is it? Not the temptations. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Full we, whispers. Like we I, should do a mustache yeah, episode. Yeah, absolutely. Where we're both just stashed up. Yeah, stashed up. Okay. Giving our takes on on on, on, day. on life. And P, I post about I posted it because I, you know, I wanted to do a soft launch. Okay. okay. I didn't want to just Free launch. sneak up on people with it, you Friends know, and, and they call the, the cops. Okay. Yeah. So I posted it on my uh, on my stories, and everyone just been thinking that it's a filter. Mm. Everyone just thinks it's AI. Mm. 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 But uh, but nah, the AI stash is crazy though. Like I don't. Is that a real thing? I, I, I was trying to do it AI before I got it done. Just but everyone, see. yeah. But everyone, I asked a couple people, and they was like, I don't know, I don't know how to do it. So you wanted to test drive the stash? Yeah, I downloaded. I even went on Google. I was like, I was googling AI mustache apps. <laughs> the FBI probably thinks I'm some sort of pervert. Like <laughs> Google. And AI mustaches trying to pick up, you know, children. That's probably what they think. But that's I was, probably why. I was just trying to like see how I look, but I couldn't find it. So mm, 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 I had to go. Uh, and it's not a good, I mean, it's not a good, I feel like right now it's not the best time to go pervert stash. Nah. A lot of our uh black entertainers are they're going down. They're son. going down. Yeah. They are going down. Yeah. Um, so I got it like pretty much. The day after I got it, Diddy got indicted. Oh, shit. so people was giving me looks like, "Oh, was you at the parties?" And I'm like, yeah. "Nah, no. <laughs> nah, I just got this stash yesterday. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't been have this." Well, you're too young for that, too, right? Yeah, it's so crazy though, because when you think about it, I remember growing up in the hip hop thing. We used to hear about Diddy parties being like the best parties in the world. Yeah, and they and they now people have to like walk back that they were there. People are like, well, I, I I stopped by. I just got I just got dip and I left. I was yeah. not there when it yeah. got weird. Uh, I think it was a uh, Buffalo Ranch dip. Yeah, uh, at the party that they was found a thousand bottles Gallons. of lube. Oh yeah, yeah, and and baby oil, right? Yeah, lube and baby oil. That's crazy. A thousand is so much. Think about a thousand. Yeah, like there's not a thousand bottles of lube at any pharmacy at any time. <laughs> Literally. Like, you can't get that at Walgreens. Or You right gotta age. go straight to Johnson & Johnson. You have to go No direct. pun intended. Yeah. Uh. You have to go straight directly. Like, yeah. you can't get that from a store. No, like, if you can't. walked into, like, CVS and you were like, I need a thousand bottles of lube. But they call the stash? FBI. Yeah, they call the FBI. <laughs> You're going down. For sure. They'll be like, sir, wait right here. Yeah. And then I'll have federal Ooh. agents come up to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think a th if I walked into anybody's house and they have a thousand of anything, I'll probably leave, no matter what it is. Dollars? If I Well, dollars, I guess... If you have it on the table, it's even though, even if, if I walk into your house and you have a thousand dollars on the table, I'm gonna I'm be like, what's going what's on? What's going on here? Especially what's happening? <laughs> with that stash. Right, right. If I'm with the stash, I'm like, don't think just because I have a stash <laughs> that I'm into any freaky yeah. shit. Put that money away. Yeah, right now. Bro, I'm if I walked into your house and you had a thousand bottles of water, I would be like, what's, what's happening? Going on? What, yeah. Why you need what to you hide your... for? Well, yeah, like who told you something that I didn't get told? Right, yeah, well, what are you yeah. prepping for? Yeah, for sure. Anything, a thousand is just too much. My 
one time my cousin, one of my cousins, he uh at his house, he had like a weird, a weirdly large supply of baby wipes. Mm. Um, no. and he, he just, he just like prefers baby wipes over, over like toilet, toilet paper, paper, which is fine. But it was like a lot where I was like, what, what, what are you, what are you cleaning up for? <laughs> I was going to ask, does he have a baby? You know, no, no baby, no baby. Just, just he wipes. just, yeah, he just likes the wipes, oh, okay. which I get it. I, get I have it. wipes at my house too. I keep wipes in my bag if we're going to be transparent. Yeah. I have a lot of wipes too. I keep They're, wipes in my bag. I have wipes in my house, but a like a, a, a large supply of them. Is he a Costco member? Draw suspicion. No, I think he he got it. He got it. He know a guy. I think oh, he got, he got it. Like connect. it was from like straight from like China. Oh, okay. okay. Like it Trump. wasn't. Yeah, because it was like no name brand, and it was like industrial size. Guys. Like no mm. brand on the packaging. No, which having is a nice. guy for baby wipes is a place I don't need to be in. Having a what? Having a guy for baby wipes is oh, like a, a baby guy, a yeah. baby wipe guy. No. If you don't have a baby, because if you have a baby, baby that's stuff a different is story. Yeah. Yeah. You want to have a baby guy. Yeah, yeah. But it, but but having when you go to a bathroom and you see baby wipes, that is nice. Mm. Mm. Are you looking for me to agree? Yeah, yeah. Are you not but a baby? You're wipe not person? a baby wipe person. I guess I don't think about it that I don't have that many friends who are doing that. Damn, oh, are baby wipes like, emasculating? Mm. Is baby wipes? No, they, I don't think baby wipes is emasculating. But I, I, I don't think it's baby wipes. <laughs> flushable wipes. I, the flushable wipes. Flushable, flushable. It's for babies. I got, I got both. Yeah. I got three types of wipes at my house. You are a three wiper? I got four, actually, when I think about it. You're, I got normal Clorox wipes for disinfecting. You got to disinfect. Yeah, I got those. Wipe. Absolutely. I got flushable wipes. That's... That's very important for the environment, I guess. Yeah. I have baby wipes, normal baby wipes. Okay. Like they're 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 more absorbent oh, than the, the flushable, flushable wipes. ones. Okay. Yeah. And then I have the the dude wipes, which are like they're like, like for your balls. But yeah, they're like wash rags. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like for men yeah. when you're in a pinch and need to get clean. So I have four types of wipes. You're a four house. wiper. Yeah, but I don't think wow. that's a red flag. Uh, with the stash though? With the stash, anything could be a red flag. That's if, if, sure. if, with the stash, if I if I try to buy you a drink at a bar, you're like, no, <laughs> no, sir, no sir, not no, today. Sir. Yeah, um, I rebuke you, Satan. But uh, I think having wipes at your house in your bathroom is a sign of success and preparedness. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's. They're not cheap. No, they're no, not they're cheap. Not. They're not. They're not cheap, and it says that you know you care about other people. Absolutely. I feel like sometimes you ever been to somebody's house and they have the worst. Toilet paper, paper, like the worst. I'm offended. Yeah, like tacky. This, yeah. It feels like sand, sand paper. Feel like mail. Yeah, like, like envelope, like mail envelope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's not a guy. That's not a trustworthy no, guy. Definitely not. But at the same time, too, like you know, I think everybody like their their toilet paper preferences are unique to their own. Like I don't like. I'm not really a charming guy. You know, but nobody's type is one ply. Like that's just that's, being cheap. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's very fair. Why are you not a charming guy? I just feel like it's overly soft and it doesn't really get the job done. You know, overly like soft it, could be a problem. But sometimes you get you get like a large row. I I like a. I mean, Charmin. I like a toilet paper that's branded with a bear. Okay. Like anytime okay. there's like a soft bear, <laughs> then you I'm know, like, okay, you're, this you're is in a good. good. Yeah, okay, you're in a good space. You're in a safe space for what I for what okay. I needed. Yeah, I, I'm a bidet guy anyway. Oh, yeah. Though, so oh, cool. I got I have a bidet. So you yeah. have five wipes, huh? You have five different wipes. I guess wow. if you include toilet paper, six. You're a five. Oh, you're yeah. a six wiper. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I have whatever you need. If you go to my bathroom and you're and you come out dirty, that's on you. That's on you. You you you. Prepared them for cleanliness as possible. Yeah, you yeah. could, you could. I got, I got everything you need. Okay. Um, which I think that that's, that's nice. I you ever went over somebody's house and they didn't have toilet paper? I left. <laughs> I didn't even have to use the bathroom. I just I left. Did, I just I didn't, didn't want to yeah. be in the house. I'm just offended. I didn't want to yeah. be in a house that lives like this. You don't have a stash. You're not a serious person. You're not serious about life. I'm out of here. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Right. You know. Like Wait. I feel like they're. Oh. Oh, I was gonna say on the Diddy thing. Did you see what came out today that him and Sam Bankman Freed, the like crypto fraud guy, they're rooming in a jail in Brooklyn together in right Sunset. now. Yeah. Downtown. They said that, but is that is that the I, New York I, Times I, came out with it? Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I'm like, what are they talking about in there? <sighs> more money, more problems. I would be planning to take over. I would be planning an escape. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If I was with a crypto guy, I would be like, yo, how much money you got put away? Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's and get out of I'll here. do with the money I put away, and you plan a prison break. Who do you think is breaking out Diddy and uh, what's his name? Sam Beckman Free, SBF. Like, 
out of prison. Yeah. I think they on their own. Oh, okay. It's their own thing. <laughs> yeah. If okay. they want to get out. I, I've actually been rewatching Prison Break on Netflix. Okay. And if they want to get out, they're going to have to plan it. Yeah. Can you break out in 2024, though? With no. the cameras everywhere? And this is in Brooklyn. Yeah. Like, how, how are you going to disappear? You can't. You literally can't. This is 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 impossible to... Some people still break out, though. You hear it, but they're not high profile. Like, he's on Suicide Watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, did he? So they're watching him. I'm I'm just so I'm conflicted and I'm torn about the whole thing because it's like, of course he's a, he's he's a dirtbag and he deserves everything that's coming to him. But then like, do you have to edit your own memories because like, man, I had some good times to that music, you know? Well, I'm I'm big on separating the artists from the crime they committed, you know, or the, from the art, you know? Like, can you? Like, yeah, I can. I just because. Just because you're a bad person doesn't mean that the things you did, like to the people who are like, I hate his music. Like you're being disingenuous. Uh, like not Diddy per se, but like any, artist, any artist that gets canceled that you know you like the music. Can, I get you don't like the person. That's fine. I don't like the person either. Can we be transparent? Please. It's a whole bunch of old black ladies that don't care. And they come up and say, can you play Step in the Name of Love? And can you play even Your Body's Calling Me or the R. Kelly? They, yeah. they, 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 they request it. I'm like, you trying to get me fired? Because you know, but it's like- Now, if you played it, would a club owner come up to you and tell you- It to- depends on, on which club and where they're from. Really? Yeah. And how old they are. Interesting. Yeah. Telling like, somebody not to play a song is kind of crazy. Absolutely. Like, cut, cut that out. Don't play that. Yeah, for sure. But why? What do you S- think? You society. look like a person that cancels people. <laughs> well, <laughs> why? Because the boots I'm listen, wearing. <laughs> would you listen to somebody to somebody who's been canceled? I listen to cancel music all the time. Really? Who are you? your favorites? Are you guys serious? <laughs> Name some of your favorites. I, I edit it out. I yeah. Well, me and my friends, when we're on vacation, sometime we'll do canceled music hour, which is you can request anybody who's canceled. It's like wow. a lot of Kanye and R. Kelly. I'm not going to lie. Wow. I don't think Kanye's canceled. In certain in certain arenas, he is. Yeah. For he, sure. Really? Yeah. I did a bat misfit, a bot misfit. They, he's, not, he's not allowed in that arena. Certainly. But, but I feel like people generally split the old Kanye and the nude Kanye. It depends. It depends. Like, the, But here's here's where it gets tricky. On the paperwork, it said no Kanye. Oh, right? on the contract? Yeah, oh. on the contract. But on the song that they wanted to come out to, all of the lights. I'm like, <laughs> what do you want me to do what here? What is happening here? <laughs> what yeah. is happening here? Like, what am I supposed to do in this situation? But I think Kanye gets a pass because mental illness. Mm. I think you could get the mental illness pass. How long does that last for? Is it life. like a passport? That's a no. good life. It's mental like- illness is life. And the good thing about mental illness past is you could use it right you could get help and get better and then you could relapse and go back, back. and everyone's and like ah oh, it's just a mess. but i feel like kanye's is like a passport like he only gets 10 years he, he he has too many stamps so they're not gonna let him keep using that i did not know kanye was canceled i still listen to kanye certain arenas i listen to him i listen to his uh his old music more. He's still like a good music. But this is what I'm saying, where it's just like, all right, so do I have to go and AI myself and wipe those memories away to those songs? Because that person might be a dirtbag and is an asshole, but then what about my personal experiences with that music? So like society trumps those experiences. That's where I get confused. And like, even like, for example, Robert, right? Of course, a lot of his music was predicated towards sex and women and all that stuff. But like, there's also the gospel songs like Titanic. You know, he wrote songs for Celine Dion. So it's just like- He did? Yeah. What songs he wrote for Celine? Um, uh, uh, Can we look this up? I don't remember like, off the top of my head, but he, he wrote a song for Celine Dion. Wait, he wrote the Titanic song? No, he didn't write the Titanic song, but he wrote one of her biggest songs. Really? Yeah. So is Celine Dion- I'm your angel? I'm your angel. He wrote that? Yes. Yeah. That's Robert or, Kelly. Least. Is she canceled? No, nah, she's Canadian, so she's untouchable. Wait, so you're allowed, you can you can sing a cancel guy's work, but you can't sing it if he sings it? This is You what can't I'm, play it if he sings it? This well, is what I don't I'm think saying. Celine Dion is grooming minors. Well, it's I didn't think R. Kelly difference. was grooming minors till I saw him pee on one in videos. But what I'm saying is sometimes you don't know what you're supporting. See? You know? So like I think a, with the Diddy thing, it's like Oh, he's just it's gonna be I don't like, even know what Diddy did. 
I see them beat Cassie. I thought that was messed up. And then there's more. There's so much more coming. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's going to be like the opposite of the Epstein list because I feel like with the Epstein list, like it was a lot of rich and famous people who were kind of like code of silence. Like I won't say anything if you don't. I feel like with Diddy parties, there was probably first of all so much more video and photo evidence. I'm like, people I feel like are just going to start being like, well, this person was there and this person was there. It's going to be an interesting thing to see who gets yeah. Who's complicit in it? Yeah. My question really is, sad. was this happening? Because I'm, 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 I don't know nothing. So was this happening against people's wills? Because I, I was under the impression that people were there willingly. When you're there willingly, you could be freaky. But is it a crime? Some of it, I, I, I don't, I don't even know all of the details. Yeah, I don't know the details. Like, well, I feel <clears throat> like it's all speculation, and at this yeah. point, it's just like, man, like, I don't know. It's all alleged at this point right now, I feel like. Um, but they're saying that that he was drugging people and that oh, that's why it's like, yeah. yeah, that's why it's was sex, sex trafficking because he was flying people out, uh, drugging them and then like forcing them to like have sex with people and whatnot and video and video and video in them. The yeah, that's is, problematic. Everybody's always spoke about it and like everybody's known about it too, like subtly. Like, so like Usher. His first album, was, he was being like, quote unquote, managed and produced by Diddy when he was 15, 16. And he would talk about it, like the things that he saw at that age. But like, it kind of almost got swept under a rug. And now it's just like, OK, let's let's peel back that rug. You know what's going on over there? But it's also he was such a staple, like you said. Well, Cameron, I saw Cameron. He always told the story that he went to Diddy's. He was at Diddy's house and he found a dildo Dildo in the bathroom. bathroom. And people always thought he was like joking or lying, but he was dead serious. He really found it. Yeah. That's crazy. Sometimes you just got to believe. Believe all men. That's a (laughs) t-shirt. That's definitely a t-shirt. But it also shows you, man, like I'm kind of, it's where I'm kind of happy that things didn't take off the way that they had taken off that I wanted them to take off, if that makes any sense. Because Elaborate. All of this stuff happened and you get all rich and famous and then like you start to lose touch with reality. So you think that anything that you say and can do goes, right? But I feel like they didn't realize that there's gonna be serious repercussions, especially like what, 20, 30 years later, right? Like, cause all, everybody's heard these stories about what goes on in Hollywood parties and music industry parties. So it's just like, when I was younger, I was just like, man, I can't wait to be young so I could be at these parties and this, that, and the third. But like, thank God it didn't because what if I would have been on tape, like, you know, at a Diddy party, like, what's, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, damn. no, wait, I got something to say. Talk to me. Volume 77 oh! of Doha Podcast. <laughs> Sunday, September 29th, coming at you live, 347-378-9423. Holla at us. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Coming oh. at you on another Sunday. Please continue to like, share, post, repost. Give Subscribe. Us up. Give us a... Go on um, Apple Music or Apple Podcasts at Spotify and give us five stars. We are, we're, we're at like, we have a lot of great reviews. I was oh, looking really? at them another day, yeah. That's what's up. We have we're a lot of good reviews, so, so go do that. Thank you for yeah. coming back, adulterers. Um, we're we talking here you. about uh, Diddy parties. Mm. Um, yeah, no, I I find it to be wild. I I mean, look, I this isn't a kink shame podcast. No. Uh, this is adulthood, meaning whatever you want to do with consenting adults is yes. your business. Adults. But I find the act of flying people to to you, drugging them and making them have sex with other people, I find that to be strange. Very strange. I don't want to speak out of line or be controversial. Very strange. But I think it's fair to say that's a little strange. Yeah. It's a little weird. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then, you know what? I heard, I'm I'm going all over the place. So we're here. Tell us everything you heard. No facts. I'm all over the place. Just stuff you heard. I was listening to a podcast. It was a porn star, a female porn star. She was on and she was talking about like the secrets and the behind the scenes of what really goes on in the porn industry. And she was saying that like the male performers, some of them have reached a point where they might identify as heterosexual, but they still have sex with men because it's more money. Not not even just that, but it's they've reached a point where they've they've had so much sex with women that it's more like a dominance thing. And I'm like, whatever that that point you reach, keep me like maybe a million times below it. Cause I don't want to reach that point. I think it's funny that there's a behind the scenes of porn industry mm. that's more salacious than, than the, the actual, actual porn. Like 
They, they, like you can Google videos of this person eating ass on camera, <laughs> but they're like, but there's stuff behind the scenes that <laughs> that's even that's even, even more cool. salacious than me than this. tongue deep into this person's ass. Hopefully they have right five now. types of wipes. <laughs> there's like it makes the actual porn videos seem mid, like G- for the behind the scenes stuff. G rated, right? Ain't that crazy? That's a pretty interesting thing. Yeah. Um, but I think they say, and I could be speaking out of line here, but I think they say that's what happened in the Roman Empire mm. or or the Greek somebody where mm. they had so much intercourse with women that they no longer it was no longer a thing to them and they started sleeping with men yeah i don't know if it was the roman empire it was some empire one of them empire. um but yeah they, they say that happens when you reach uh a high level of woman getting yes or vagina crushing i don't know what the medical term is but yeah. it's one of those one of those days yeah. interchange um but i hear that now have you heard i think we spoke about this before but have you heard the movement of like Women saying that if a man gets too many girls, he's gay. <laughs> I haven't heard that movement. You haven't heard it? No, this is not. a movement. You know, women, they'll make up anything. Yeah, yeah they're trying yeah. to. They'll, okay. they'll run with anything. But this is a thing where they're saying that, like, if a man is, if a if a man keeps like cheating on you, or he has too many women in the streets, it's because he's gay. He's looking for a man. He a woman can't satisfy him. I would he's like looking for a man. I would like to know the logic behind that. Like, is woman show math? Show me the um. What is it? The flow chart. Show me the flow charter how that works it's woman math you know uh, they just you know they just i'm like i was talking about this at the comedy club the other day i was i couldn't stop laughing i'm like <laughs> this is the biggest reach i've ever heard and some of my homegirls who are comics they were like yeah no they're like yeah because a woman can't satisfy you so you probably looking for a man mm, okay which i don't know if the logic checks out on that i don't think it does yeah yeah did you add the one? It doesn't make sense. Okay. Like I'm, I'm trying to rationalize it using other logic, but it doesn't make sense just because you continue to crave other women. That doesn't make you gay. Yeah, like where is this? Where's the source from this? Yeah, that doesn't you know? want in a lot of women. And again, I'm not trying to be controversial, but a heterosexual man wanting to sleep with a lot of women makes him, doesn't make him gay. Makes I think. him gay. Okay. What do you think, Carmen? I was just thinking per- of personal examples of people I've dated who have been like particularly attractive or have, like probably had a really good track record. I'm like, two of them were gay, have double dipped. So now I'm like, maybe that's just the type you're seeking out. Mm. Maybe it's just the type that happens to me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So you, 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 that's hated- just my very small case study though. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, every, every case study is it's unique, is relevant. Yeah. You, you dated two guys who were bisexual. Or at least had one, you know, tried it experience. Yeah. Did they tell you before or like, at, or were you, you in a relationship? This is just like news that came out later, like, from other people. Oh, Wait, but is it rumored or is it real? It's real. It's like I know who the people were. And they admitted it? Like the guy admitted It's just it? like a known oh. thing. But you never actually had a conversation with a guy about No, it. I was never with either of them when it like when like yeah, you've never was, been with a guy and he's like, just so you know, I've, I've dabbled yeah. in masculinity. Uh-huh. I, I have been on a few dates with a bisexual guy before. Really? What is yeah. that like? See, that's your this is your type. Th- yeah. What? This is something it's something you're putting out there. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about my aura? I don't know that says she likes bi. What? I don't have an issue with it. No, no, but yeah. like, what is it like? What is it like? Yeah. yeah. What's normal? Like, I don't know. Same as everything. He's attracted, I, I, to, he's attracted to me on our date. Like, yeah, but he's also attracted to your waiter. Yeah, I, I, that's I, what I'm saying. <laughs> I, you know, you ever gone out with a girl? And I might be too. But like, that's what I'm saying. Like, have you ever gone out with a girl who's bisexual and then like she sees an attractive woman? She's like, oh, look at that woman. So like, was he like that? Was he like, oh, he's. I have. No, and I don't he like was it. on a date with me. He was uh-huh. focused. Okay. Yeah. But what if a hot guy walks by with a mustache? What if a hot girl walks by? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if those two are mutually exclusive. Um, <laughs> what if a hot guy walked by or a guy with a mustache? Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It, it I like might get mustache. his attention. It might get his what? attention. <laughs> but that's that the guy. same argument of what if a hot girl walks by. It's gonna get my attention, right? That's what I'm saying. So but why now is it you're any fighting. Different? You're fighting a war on two ends. Uh, I don't even know if that's a saying, but you yeah. just made it up. Yeah. That's a t-shirt. You're fighting on two fronts. 
Because now, obviously, you got the women, right? If you're with a guy who likes women and an attractive woman walks by, he's going to look at her. He's not going to do nothing, but he might, you know, give her the eye. I look at him. I have wandering Perf. eyes. But Perf. I make it clear. I look at him. I'm going to look at him mm. if they're hot. Mm. I, even, sometimes I don't even think, if, I think that's just like a human thing. Like, even if I'm attracted to that person. I don't even be like I'm attracted to him. It don't even be that deep. I just be like. Noticed. And, and my, yeah, they just I just noticed them. Yeah. It don't even be like I'm attracted to them. Um, or if they have like a very, very huge posterior. Like I'm talking about one where it it takes, it <laughs> grabs your your glaze. Like, cause that's happened to some women. Yeah, some women <laughs> are so attractive that I'm like, we gotta get out of here. Let's get the hell out of <laughs> here. We gotta now. leave. I'm the Uber's on the way. I don't yeah. feel comfortable at all. I don't wanna be around this. No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Thank you. I'd rather go home. Yeah. But go. I feel like I run into, I, I I know, I see like two, I never find a girl in the middle, like the two extremes. Like I know girls who are like, yeah, I'll go out with a bi guy. I don't care if, if what he's done. I don't care, you know, sexual freedom. And then I find the other girl that's like, if you even shook a guy's hand for too long, I'm out. I'm, the door. I'm that's, out. Yeah. That's, I'm out. That's the yeah. thing. I don't, I don't generally in, enjoy, uh, I not enjoy. I maybe that's not the right word, but like I've been on a date with like a girl who's like bisexual. I've said it before. It's not a thing to me. Like mm -hmm. I'm not turned on by that. Okay. I'm yeah. I'm 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 kind of indifferent. Okay. By. Yeah, that's how I'm just like indifferent. I'm like and, for you. I mean, I feel like with a guy, it's more que it's more questions. Like with a because a girl. Sometimes I had this. I I speak to girls and they'll be like, I'm bi, and then when I get to know them better and I find out what they've actually done, it's like, oh, you made out with a I girl. I kiss this girl to yeah. 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 You yeah. College. Oh, if you went to college. I, I don't know that makes you bi. Yeah. But with a guy, if a guy says he's bi, he's bi. Yeah. There's yeah. no. He's he's done the no research. Gray area. Yeah, he's yeah. The, it's it's not a it's not a I made out with a guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty deep, which I think. What does it matter? What type of gay he was to you? What do you mean? Like you know, like gay men sometimes they're uh, what do you call them? Uh, bottoms and, oh. and, and tops. Oh, that's interesting. That's an never interesting got point. that far into questioning. Mm. Yeah, I don't think so. For me, it's just like I'm. I don't know. My type is so personality based. I'm like I'm normally super attracted to energy, so I'm just like. I, I don't feel know. like I I have um, more compassion and empathy for the men who are more uh, open to sexual experiences because I had a homegirl and she was dating a guy, yeah. right? And like the guy felt very comfortable with him with her, and she was just like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was just like, I like to get pegged. Oh, that happens a lot. And yeah. So, but here's the thing: I heard she pegged she pegged him, right? And then she stopped talking to him. Yeah, no, that's women are, cool. women are terrible. That's, so, <laughs> that's, I, that's, not cool. that's so. I I I say this every chance I get. That's women crazy. Are, are, are bad people. They're not. They're not good. He let his whole guard down and opened up literally. Mm. And then you just stopped talking <laughs> to him. You know what I think it is? I think in the in the you know me, I'm a feminist. You of know course, me. of course. In the, I think t-shirts in the plight in the plight for equality that women been having over the the the. Thousands of years we're running around. through this tequila, bro. Yeah, I don't know yeah. adulthood tequila. Yeah, um, I think that we're. I think um, this is the closest that we've been, right? I think there's still a lot of work to do, but this is the closest we've been gender wise, right? Mm. To like women and men being equal as a, as a, as a society. This is the closest we've ever been. I don't think that's debatable. We're we're pretty close. We're fairly close to having a black woman president in the mm. United States. Mm. I mean, what other? I mean. I'm not even sure it could happen now, but if it does happen, what other time was that even plausible? Feasible. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's not. So I think we're the closest now. And then I think in that you see a lot of like how how much of the same women and men really are. Mm -hmm. Cause mm -hmm. the, at the end of the day, like we're all just people. Mm -hmm. So we all have like, I think for a long time, there was a narrative that like w women were generally like these like, empathetic soft souls that were like just created to care for the rest of the 
planet. Cold blooded and, killer. Yeah, and now I'm like, some of the girls, I'm like, yo, yo you are cold blooded. Cold like, blooded. you are worse than some worse. of the guys that I worse. know. Like, worse. And like, they talk so bad about so men. So bad. Like, like they, they, oh. like, they use like guys. Like, they'll, yep. like, I mean, obviously, it's the same thing men been doing for, for generations. For generations, yeah. obviously. So I'm not making an excuse for the men, but it's just funny we're, to see. Because we're, we're programmed not to see this part. Right, right. It's just funny to see how quickly, like, once you even smell any type of notion of like equity, how quickly you yep. you digress into like just the same thing. Cause yep. we're all humans. Yep. We're not like, we try to separate each other by genders and by other things. But at the end of the day, we all have the same predisposition as other humans. Everybody shoots. Me. Right. Yeah. So it's like your girl pegging her boyfriend and then breaking up with him. Like, I mean, sure. Maybe a, like, man, a man asleep with you, not call you back. But he's but not changing your sexuality Ali. and blocking you. Whew. I mean, Diddy is, but he's in prison. Yo, that's true. Exactly. <laughs> this it's, is a crime. Yo, she told me that story. I was just like, damn, yo, you cold blooded. She was like, huh? And now, I did you, when you, when Peg, like, how was, how, like, does she, does she have fun? I didn't, it? I didn't really go into too much details. And like, she seemed excited about it. And like, she seemed like she was open about it. And then she was just like, nah, I lost interest. And then, like, ghosted the dude. Now, you know, do you have friends who are pegging? And what's their Instagram? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just in general. Is, I have friends who have. Who yes. have? Yeah. And what's, really? what's the, well, how do you, how do they go about it? I like, think it's always. Guys ask a lot. Well, I, I feel like it's never been it? anybody like who hasn't been dating someone for a while. Like this isn't like a, first a date fourth thing. date situation. Okay. Like this is like we've been dating for two years. Mm -hmm. Um. I feel like the reviews are kind of mixed. Like some people are like, I found a lot of power in it. Mm -hmm. And then some people are like, not my vibe. Mm -hmm. Or like, I didn't like see my partner in this way just because it's <laughs> such a different power <laughs> switch. Like, yeah. I can't imagine. <laughs> Man, now, that's crazy. I wish maybe we could interview one of these peggers on the podcast. I already oh. have someone in mind. And, uh, I'll uh, give her a call. We'll Black blur their face yeah. out. Yeah, blur their face <laughs> out. She could go to the story. Out. Also the voice now, because I want to know what I want to know is like as a woman, when you're pegging an adult man, <laughs> are you like, are you doing the things that like men do when they're in this position? Like, are you are you smacking, smacking the guy's it. ass? <laughs> are you like pulling his hair or his or his mustache? <laughs> are or you his like, mustache <laughs> reaching around. What are you, what are you holding are you on to? This? Are you like, yeah, take it? Or, right? you know, what is, or, or is it more empathetic and loving? Totally. I bet it kind of depends on what the guy wants. Yeah, because as a guy, how do you ask for- For like, your peg? Like, nah, don't take it easy. Yeah, good. like <laughs> let, let loose, right? Yeah. Don't take it easy on me. Uh-huh. Do whatever you want. Do, well, I had, it's so funny. I had a, I had, I had a friend tell me that she went on a date with a guy and he, I guess, you know, they were going to hook up, whatever. And I guess he was he a pegger. He requested that? He was from the- Is it pegger or peggy? Peggy, peggy Bundy. He's the he was peggy. the peggy, I yeah. guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big peg. Um, that's what she called him. Um, and he was like, he was kind of like- Shy? No, he was, yeah, at first he didn't know how to like verbalize it. Cause to be fair, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of like the, the listener, not a lot, but probably some like to get pegged. And, I, and I'm sure it's hard to bring up. Mm. Like, and the, that's why it takes like two years for you to ease, ease into, into it. it. Like yeah, you yeah. gotta have casual conversations. Yeah. Maybe play this episode yeah. while you next to your girl yeah. and see what her attitude is for yeah. right. <laughs> And then you ease it in like, oh, these guys are crazy, yeah. right? Or, yeah. you know. Like you definitely have to know her social security number or something. Right. So she went on a date with a guy and the guy didn't know how to say it. So she said he kept putting her hand like back there and then she was like, move it. And then he kept like putting it back. And then she was like, what's going on? And then he was like, just just do whatever you want back there. And I'm like, he gave you a free pass. He gave you a six flag summer pass. Whenever you want, you could have it. That's crazy. Yo. That's crazy. That's why. But we don't judge you. We don't so judge. Whatever nah. you want to do, do whatever you want. <laughs> love who you want to love. If you're wow. a pegger, if, you, if you're a girl who pegs, um, call in, leave us a voicemail. Uh -huh. We won't say your name. We won't. We'll, we'll blur, blur out your name. We yeah. won't blow. And just tell us about the experience. Like, you think this is a peg society? Oh, of course. Mm. Total. Of oh, my course. God. Yeah. Mm. Of course. Yeah. Wow. It, bro, that's the thing, like, with the Diddy news, too, that I've, like, I mean, I've known this for a while, but I realized... The amount of perversion that's outside is like it's, it's 
You can't even imagine. You can't even imagine. It's like, almost like the universe. It's literally like when you in New York, like you get on a train, like in your car, if you were able to see the amount of perversion of the people in your car, you would be mind blown. Mind blown. And then everybody, like, because everybody's kink is unique to themselves. But then, you know, you might think that you're into something and then you meet somebody who's into something totally different. And you're like, whoa, like my mind can't even go to like where you just like your norm, you know? Yeah, no. I mean, I don't, I feel, sometimes I feel left out. I don't, I don't have a kink. I mean, other than this like mustache, I don't really have anything that's weird I, or perverted about me. You know what else is? So you say. Uh, I mean, I, I haven't found it yet, I guess. I don't want to get pegged. If that's what you're suggesting. <laughs> You say that now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna feel in a couple of years, but right now I'm pretty. I'm pretty, pretty sure. You're pretty that solid. I, I don't want to. You know what happens too is that it depends on the industries that you work in, especially like when you work in nightlife, and then also when you, you know, like I've worked in strip clubs, and you talk to strippers, and you talk to like, they have some very interesting stories. I don't know if I've ever told this on here this broadcast before, but like, I was DJing at some place, and one of my homeboys was a security guard at a strip club. Uh, and then like when you, when you do security, the, the, the employees, they feel comfortable with you. Then you become friends because you're like, you're watching out for them. Right. So he invited her to a place that I was DJing at. So I was DJing, blah, blah, blah. And then we went somewhere else. This is like one of those like day parties turn into nighttime things. Right. Yeah. So it was a group of them and one of them, she was in town from out of town. And like, I don't even know how the conversation started, but like, it was just like, they started talking about their exploits and what they've seen in the club or whatever, whatever. And then one of them, like the tequila, the tequila was flowing mm -hmm. and she like, was just like, okay, well her and her, her boyfriend, they basically, she performs fellatio uh, to the point where she throws up. And then the two of them fight over who gets to eat the throw up. Mm. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's a name for that. I was like, hold on, wait a minute. I was not prepared for. This. Whoa, I think that's called like How? an Irish breakfast or something like that. Uh, there's a name. <laughs> there's was, definitely yeah, a name for that. I was like, hold, hold on. We just met 17 minutes ago. <laughs> How do we go from shots, 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 champagne to? What do you what do you mean when you say when you say she said that they fight? They over, fight like what do you they mean? wrestle. Is like, it rock, paper, scissors? No, or is it like, like they, come on, they wrestle. First one to yeah, tap out they Japanese, doesn't get to eat it. Japanese sumo wrestle to for the regurgitation. Well, I had I had a friend, I had a friend, he's a comic. He told me something similar where uh and you know this is a family show. Obviously. So, you know, we don't we don't we don't uh digress into no. the perverted but this is just i'm just telling the story he yeah. said that he had a thing that when he would hook up with a with a partner with a female partner he would get fellatioed to completion and then ask her to spit it back into his mouth this is comedian this is a comedian yeah he was open about it and he said that uh he said that women love this and i was like i, I don't think they do i'm i can i can i guess what his um but he 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 checks as his race and oh, ethnicity please, please. on um on voting ballots. Please. Uh Caucasian male? I mean that's yeah. Okay. That was that's goes that was like really easy. That was but, easy? Was yeah. that a layup? White 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 guys, I think white people are just more fluid? More they're just like more sexually advanced. advanced yeah. And but also than like, most others. I think the Japanese are doing a lot of new things. Really? Yeah, I think they're known. They're very they're innovators in the sex game. I think because mm. there's like Japanese or is, it might be Korean. There's like a Korean porn or Japanese porn scene that they go for it. They're they're very innovative. Wow. Yeah, yeah okay. a lot of new a right. lot of new stuff coming out of Asia. Okay. The furthest, sexually, yeah. sexually. All right. The furthest east I've been has been Greece. So yeah, you know. But no, but yeah, but white men uh, generally, but that, that's not, I'm, we're generalizing, obviously. Yeah, obviously, yeah. black men also do the thing, but in a general- Generalization. Yeah. It, they're um, they're more open to experiences. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and it seems like, did you hear about that? The uh, What is it? The Well, the guy who's running for governor in North Carolina, the black guy. Oh, who's like super wild. Mark something, yeah, but they yeah. found him on like some porn sites. Like he's saying a black he's man. a Nazi. Yeah, saying calling himself a black Nazi, saying weird things about, on like porn forums. Yeah, about what he's into and yeah. pornography, which is can we, like, can we start doing a background check for the people who's running for like any kind of office and stuff? Trump endorsed him. Really? Bro, I think that 
look, if you and and this is I, I say this with all due respect to all of our listeners. Yes. But if you ever find yourself commenting and engaging in on a, a porn, porn site, forum, a porn forum, you've gone too far. Yeah. You're on the deep <laughs> draw, end. Draw it back. You're off the deep end. Draw it back. Okay. You've gone too far. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's safe. Yeah. yeah. If you if you find yourself rolling up your sleeves, let me to say you. something. Yeah. You yeah. Think? Maybe don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you could not do that, and and, and, and particularly still. don't call yourself a Nazi, yeah. like a double blind. What are you doing? Yeah. Even that, if that's what you want to call, do that in private. Seriously, don't put it in the forum on the internet. And a black Nazi. I mean, I, I don't mean, even understand. I don't I even mean, know what that is. Wrong. Man, people just like need attention. Like they need hugs and moms and stuff, bro. Like, what's wrong with people? Yeah, I mean, look. Again, this is a non-judgmental at podcast. Is the at all. Pod. We want everybody to be adults and whatever you do with consenting adults. But it's like, look, Safe space. Anytime I never was, I never was at a porn site and saw a video and was like, let I me look at the reviews on this right now. Let me make sure the reviews are good before I give this, yeah. you know, 30 to 90 seconds. What do they of think about this? Do I have my towel? Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, what do they? That's very strange. Yeah. But you know what? A lot of people, they have time, you know, they're not really pursuing anything or if they are, then they have some he's, time. He's, he's trying to be the governor of... <laughs> <laughs> of North Carolina, <laughs> clearly. Uh, I think he's pursuing stuff. <laughs> Maybe he didn't think that this was coming out. You know, I don't know. What goes through your mind when you do that? Yeah, I don't know. That's that's so weird. But again, I have a hard time even leaving like five stars on Uber and you know, on like leaving a <laughs> a comment on a porn forum. So yeah, yeah. I was I was on a flight uh, coming back. I was recently. I was in uh, what was I? I was in Michigan. Shout, Shout out. out to uh, Grand Rapids. I was in Grand Rapids. Shout out to everyone who came out to the shows. Um, and when I was flying back, I was on an early flight. It was a 7 a.m. flight. And when I was flying back, what do you think about this? The the flight attendant, he kept like, he was acting like the flight was like a tour. Like we were on a tour bus. Like he was like, as soon as we took off, he was like, if you look out the left side, you'll see the mountains and it's the beautiful sunrise coming up from the mountains. And then mid-flight, he was like, and on the right side, we have some beautiful clouds. If you check out no. the clouds. No. And when we were coming back into New York, he was like, if you look straight out the left, you'll see a beautiful view of the Empire State Building no. created in blah, blah, blah. And no. Central Park, there's a man masturbating by the pond. <laughs> I, I'm like, bro, it is 7 a.m. right in now. In the morning. Yeah. Why are you giving us a tour guide? Who like Who? We've been on flights before. We've flown into New York. We've seen the Empire State <laughs> Building. Nobody asked for this. No. That'd be my thing. It's one thing if somebody was just like, you know what? I really wish that this this, this flight attendant gives us a, a full tour of what we're seeing and the landmarks in the air. Nobody asked for that. Nobody requested that on their flight, on their check-in. What are you doing? Who no. do you think you are? But the crazy thing is, or the annoying part is, when you hear that, if you're sitting on the left side, you're like, you're well, look. I'll take a look. Like, of yeah. course. Let me just take a look. <laughs> Wait, what mountain was this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you see it and you're like, that's just clouds. <laughs> I've seen clouds. Now you're like more annoyed. But I, when that happened, I was like, I got to bring this up. Yeah. This is uh, this is insane. I've run into that. I feel like if you fly a lot, you run into that. Sometimes there's like the flight attendants who want to make a meal out the flight. You know, they really want to. Or they got jokes. And yeah. Like, they wanna, I just need you to get me from yeah, A to B. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't like the jokes. No. I don't like the, yeah. hey, you know, you ever been on a flight? And like, I'll be on a flight and we're going to like Minnesota in the winter. And then they'll get on and they're like, this flight is headed to the Bahamas. And I'm like, I don't need that. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I had a, a flight attendant sing. She sang like, God bless America or something when we landed. Like, I had some. She sang God yeah, bless America? Yeah, over the now, what, what airline was this? Was it American? This, was, this had to be like, like, like Delta. Spirit. Like oh. Delta. This Spirit. Was Delta. There's no flight attendant. Yeah, there's no flight attendant. It's just like a bus. Yeah. It's like Delta. <laughs> yeah. She sang when we landed. It was just like, if we place? land, no. If, if, <laughs> if I'm on a flight and the flight attendant gets on the speaker and starts singing God Bless America, I'm going to think this is a terrorist. This is mission. a terrorist. Yeah. I'm going to think this plane's going down. <laughs> and then um, one of our previous episodes, I think we were talking about like frisky, uh, frisky jobs, nurses, teachers, right? Yeah. Like the wildest. Freaky, the freaky. Uh, flight attendants were also included in the comments that they're top tier in the frisky business. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when I, you know, I used to work for the airline, uh -huh. Delta. When I worked uh -huh. at Delta, um, uh, I remember one time this flight attendant got fired mm. because he hooked up with this gay porn star in the bathroom. 
and the gay porn star was like live Snapchatting it. <laughs> this is why they shouldn't have wow. Wi-Fi on the plane. That's why the Wi-Fi on the planes is terrible. Wild, yeah. He was like, he's <laughs> he's like a famous gay porn star or bi porn star. I don't know, you know. And he was, he hooked up with the guy in the bathroom and he was like literally, which that's like, you don't got to snap what, it. No. What are you, you doing? Just enjoy it if that's what you're into, you know? But he was snapping him in his uniform, like he was in his flight attendant <laughs> yes. uniform. And, and snapping it and the guy ended up getting in trouble. Fire. Fire. And I, I felt bad for the guy because it's like, you yeah, know, you don't think you don't think you're gonna be recorded. Yeah. No, you think you're having a once in a lifetime experience with a gay porn star on a plane. You can't right. even do that anymore. Maha Club. I know. Right. Is that even a club anymore? People still do this. I have flight attendant friends who say that they do, that happens a lot, especially on like late night flights. Really? Yeah. Ugh. That doesn't interest me that much, though. No. When you're a certain size, and then also like yeah. I got OCD, man. Like I'm in the bathroom. I, I public places. Just, ugh. Excuse me out. Yeah, I mean, I've never been on a flight and was like, you know, I, I, could, need I get, could really use an orgasm. Yeah, right I need now. to get the I, I was, I was kind of like, you know, I'll wait till I'll land. I'm usually like not in the best mood when I'm on a plane, honestly, just because dealing with TSA and if I'm not in an emergency exit, like I'm tight. So I have to be like, like what you do, raw dog? Yeah. My, like, the equivalent for raw dog for me is just like get into a mental space of point A to point B. I'm not really drinking. I'm not eating the uh, biscotti cookies that they give. I'm lying. That's my favorite. Um, but outside of that, like, I'm not thinking about getting no rocks off in the bathroom. No, no. It's especially like, cause I feel, I mean, look, if you, if you're on a flight to Europe, one of those, Asia, one of those long flights, maybe I can see it. 18 hours. But if you're on like a two hour, you know, middle New York to Cleveland, I, I say just wait till just you win. Yeah. Um, the story is good though. Yeah. People have the story. You play Never Have I Ever. It's like, Never Have I Ever been part of the Maha Club. And you could take a shot and everyone's like, oh, oh look at this guy. He's a, whatever. I get it for that. But you could also lie and say you did it, but not actually do it. Do it. And I think it's a crime. Do people still play Never Have I Ever? Yeah, I think I think the kids are playing it. Really? Yeah. But on I like, don't. Because once you turn 30, you can't play that game because everyone's done everything. Yeah. So you're like, just a bunch of adults telling tell creepy stories and taking shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About how they uh fight for throw up after yeah. the yeah. So it gets it gets weird. But when it's you're really like 20, weird. 21, it's fun. Yeah. And then you you're know like, what? oh my God, you've made out with another girl. Oh. Another thing freaky. too is like you really don't want to I don't want to know all of this about you. Like, let's just keep this ex exchange here. I generally don't want to know anything about anyone, but sometimes they offer some information and the information is so jarring that you're like, okay, well now I need to know more. It's kind I didn't too. want to know anything, but you're yeah. telling me that you're fighting with your partner over your vomit. Mm. I'm, I'm going to have a couple follow-ups. That I need because, you know, we do have a podcast. Right. Yeah. Right. It's a good so, thing I remember so, that story. So that I get, but yeah. Shout out to generally, generally speaking, I don't, I don't ask because so, a lot of times people think that they're sexually wild, but they're not. They're not. There's a spectrum. There's a, really wild. and the spectrum is very, what I've learned is that the spectrum is very wide. So like to make sure you stay innocent, just don't ask no questions. I told you before that I was on a date with a girl and she told me that the night before she had went to a sex party. No, you did not. Yeah. She, yeah. I mean, you know, I don't know if I still have it with the mustache, but when I had the beard, you know, the, the face of like, tell this guy everything. Everything. Yeah. I had that. Did, um, is that why you shaved? The, no, I just was looking for a new look. Oh, okay. I, I I don't mind it, but people just be really telling me in like personal stuff mm. on uh on on dates, you know. So I I was on a date and we was just getting to know her, and then she was just like, yeah, you know. She she said it like casually, like, yeah, you know, because yesterday I um I went to the sex party, and then at the sex party they was like serving, and I'm like, whoa, hold on, you talking you telling me about the hors d'oeuvres. Go back. Back, sex back party. Sex how party. do you? What? How does one get invited? Yeah. The list. Where does it take place? Do I bring that. lube? What's the rules to it? Mm -hmm. And she was telling me. She was like, "No, it's just like a friend of mine." Like she was like, "I've never been to one." A friend of mine just brought me. She's like, "Oh, do you want to come to a sex party?" She just brought me, and then I went to it. And I'm like, "Oh, okay." She's like, "Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't go to it, and I didn't do anything." And I was like, oh, "All right." And then I think she was telling me another story, and then. In the story, she's telling me about how like a guy at the sex party was going down on her. And I was like, you, you said, I thought you didn't do anything. anything. She's like, oh no, I, I meant like, I didn't like have sex, but like a couple guys ate me out. I'm like, I gotta get married, oh, kids. Okay.
I'm not okay. built for I'm not built for modern day today. No, absolutely not. That's crazy. Have you ever been to a sex party? No, mm. no. Um, I think I'd make everyone uncomfortable. Really? Especially with the mustache. With I the think stash, people what? would think I knew what to do, what to do or do? where the bathroom was. All and the I would rules. be like, I don't know. Yeah, I just I just came here. Yeah, I, just I, just be like, I don't know what the yeah. thing is. <laughs> Yo, you know what? And that, that's the thing too, where like, especially living in a city like New York City, where basically everything is available at all times. And then like you meet people, like working in nightlife, you meet the most interesting people, but then you also like hear the most interesting stories. So like Sex parties, but like sex parties where it's either like what what's the one where you were the furries? The furry sex parties are big in New York City. I had a homegirl, she went to a furry. It's like when you party. dress like a charmin bear. Yeah. And then your girl yeah. dressed like a lion. Yeah. And then you got like, oh, a bear and a lion. Yeah. Do fornicating. And then there's a tiger. Yeah. Lions, tigers, and bears. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, there's that. Um, I remember the first party that like I broke night out night. Well, I was working it and then I was just like, okay, this is before like I was like fully experienced in New York City, but like it was like a real, it was in a warehouse in Soho. I'm DJing and it was like two rooms. The little room, of course, was like the hip hop room. And then it was like the big house room. This had to be like 2010. I was still in college. Yeah. But it was like, like not like EDM house. This was like that, that deep, like, oh, something crazy is going on over there. But like the people that were filtering from that room to into the room that I was DJing in to take a break were like, oh, okay, I don't think I need to go into that room because it was like basically Coke bowls, bowls of Coke on the table. Um, there was a lot of money here. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was crazy. Diddy party? Who, did, who could afford it that? Could've <laughs> been. It could have been. It could have been because like, you know, when that's not just dancing. You know, you can tell like that's not just dancing. When they're filtering in there, I'm like, okay, I need to get out of here. And like this party, my party ended at five. And that party was like, oh, they just got another DJ. They went till like 12 in the afternoon the next day. I was like, I need to get out of here now. I'm not ready for this. I remember like growing up. Now. I remember growing up when I would go to parties and it would be like a friend of mine would go into a room with like a girl and it would it was so exciting. We used to be like, oh, they're they're in the room. And then he'd come out and you'd be like, oh, what happened? And he like, bro, bro, got a lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> Word. And you like give him that. He's like, oh my, my boy getting lap dancing, bro. Word. She a freak. Word. And and now in hindsight, you'd be like, bro, you went into a room to get a lap, lap dance, bro. You could do that on the train. <laughs> you don't need you don't need privacy for oh, that. I thought you were going somewhere else. Cause now, you know, it's gonna be like, oh yeah, I just got paid. Whoa, wait a minute. Minute. You yeah, just, <laughs> she just pegged you at a party, bro. What? Well, now all of my friends, all of my friends are, and I and I I enjoy this. All of my friends are like in relationships yeah. or they're married. Yeah. So it's it's no longer we're, they're not living on the wild side for now. Yeah. Maybe they'll get divorced, they'll come back. But yeah. for now, they're not doing that. Which I think this weekend, because I it was my birthday last week. You know, I, I turned. That's when I got the stash. Thirty four on my birthday. Yeah. I turned thirty four. And this weekend I was in Michigan and where I was, where I was performing at in the, in the club, the comedy club, it was a warehouse. It's a, it's a building, a four floor building, but it's like an empty warehouse. The comedy club is on the third floor. On the, on the first floor is a brewery. On the second floor is like a bar, a popping bar. And on the fourth club, on the fourth level is a proper nightclub, like nightclub, mm -hmm. full like nightclub vibes. And after the show on Friday, like the building is bumping because it's so big and everything will be full. So after the, the show on Friday, the manager was like, oh, well, you know, do you want to see around? Because they own the whole building. He's like, we could show you around like whatever. And I was like, all right, yeah, let me go check out what the club is like. And I went upstairs to the club and I, I it hit me. I'm like, yo, I don't think I'm this person anymore. Like, I don't want to. Oh, be yeah. Like oh, yeah. I, I want to go home. home and for three nights, it was parties every night. I did not go to one party. Mm. I did my shows and I went back to my hotel at 10 30, 11 PM. And I was in bed watching CNN and eating chicken nuggets. There you go. Um, barbecue or spring sour? Both. Can we go back to the girl who just said like, oh yeah, I wasn't doing anything, but he just like, mo so she said multiple dudes ate her out? Two. And she was just like, huh? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Women are sexually empowered now, and and then you gotta applaud them because if you don't, bro, you'll lose your job. Like, oh, that's true. You can't. You can't. But like, as a man, like, how? Like, I'm just gonna. This is what I'm just gonna do. At a yeah. party. Oh, eager. I mean, if you had a sex party, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, if you if if they got you there, yeah. She, but I asked. She was like, the guys wanted more, but she didn't want more. She was class, you know. She's yeah, from like yeah, a Christian family, okay, so, for sure. You know, she's not gonna have have public sex. And then I asked, and then and I was like, but were those guys like having sex? Or she was like, yeah, they. I saw them having sex with others. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Which is which is, you know, to each their own. Like I'm not. Did she shower before this party? I don't think you're allowed to ask a woman if they showered. Okay. I think that's uh Does she have wipes in her bag or something? Like I just I'm so like perplexed at this. Like what? I know this. Wait, I know this cuz I asked this. Like no. What? I'm I'm I finessed it cuz I you know, you don't you don't you know, you don't want to ask women too many questions. Yeah. You know, they feel. So, I said, okay, this is how I phrased it. I said, so when you left the house that day, were you did you leave prepped to go to a sex party that's how i framed it boom and she was like no when i left the house i didn't know i was going to a sex party okay so i'm like oh you that's crazy then because you you got caught off guard yo you can randomly randomly end up at like a pizzeria or like i randomly ended up at a, a museum right like oh i wasn't planning on going to a museum so how do you randomly just fall into a sex party I mean, you know, New York. I mean, if you if you talking to a girl that's from Williamsburg, uh, Flatbush, the uh, Bronx, these these places, they they know what's popping. Uh, they know where to go. We don't get invited. We're we're, we're, we're out the loop. Yeah, yeah. we don't get invited yeah. to these things. But they know where to go, which is a good thing. I no. like being at that point, like you're saying. I like being at that point. Yeah, I don't want to go. No, I want to be invited though. Oh, so you like to invite, but you yeah, don't want to I mean, go. Wanna, you don't want to hear. You don't want to hear the next day that all your close friends were at a sex party and you was with them last night, and they just let you go home because you're gonna be like, what, <laughs> why? No, why? why what, what do you think? I you think I can't do a sex party? But that's how you get saved. <laughs> that's how you get saved from not being in the case and being indicted. So yeah, but I, 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 I'm old enough and smart enough to not go. But uh, I, I, if you, you want to. If you didn't invite me, I'm gonna be like, what? <laughs> you thought I was gonna ruin the sex party? <laughs> they, they're gonna be like, nah, we just we just didn't think it was for you. We uh, didn't think it was your vibe, like yeah, it would fit in. Uh, that's offensive. They're looking out for you. Yeah, that's offensive. Yeah. Also, and I said this with the Epstein situation, and I'll say this with Diddy situation, there is room for people who were just going to a party. party. That is a thing. Yeah. Not because everyone who was there means that they're perverts. That they're coming to get kinked on. Some people was like, hey, there's a Diddy party. He got good appetizers and free Ciroc. Uh-huh. I'm going. Then you go in, you walk in the door, you slipping on Lou. And, you're, and like, you're like, all right, Whoa. this is suspicious, but there's still free Ciroc. So I'm gonna wait. Then you open the fridge, there's a thousand bottles of KY jelly in there. And then so you're like, okay, I'm I gonna eat a couple more apps yeah. and then probably call my driver. Yeah. And get out of here. Especially when the coconut Ciroc drop. Let me tell yeah. you, dog. And the pineapple Ciroc. Yeah. Bro, what a time. Yeah, what a time to be what alive. Time. Thank you guys for listening, man. Volume 77. We we got into a lot of weird stuff. That's what the adult hub pod is. Shit gets weird. Yeah, continue to listen to us. If you want to see me live this weekend, I'm in Washington, D.C. at the D.C. Improv. This Shout is out. one of my favorite comedy clubs. This is like the last time you'll get to see me in D.C. before I tape the special. Woo! So come out to see me live this weekend washington dc the dc improv and next weekend i'm in sacramento at the punchline Country sac town sacramento. that's what's up what i'll up? be at panda you already know panda 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 thank you guys for listening to doha pod volume 77 give us a thumbs up peace buenos